Okay, my extracurricular duties are done, and so's Patrick's. We had to do some reffing and um, had to do a couple of things, work on a bracket and stuff. But we're uh, we're back. Yeah, it seems like uh, we're we're down to what seven or eight, but six is. Yeah. We had one slow match, so yeah. really we're down to six, but we're waiting on one slow match. Terry, are you a Cowboys guy? It's nothing wrong with the Cowgirls. Are you one of them boys? <laughs> <laughs> so Mitch, Searcy, they say that Mitch plays pretty good. I know Dakota's game. Dakota plays good. Uh, he's looking to see if that two ball will go uh, in the side between the three and six. But you don't really have to. You can just float this straight across with high and shoot the two in this opposite side. Might just like what he's shooting. Nope, it does go in this side, so he's going to lay up and play it there, which I don't hate either. Yeah. Has a little bit of a backwards angle, but should be all right. Yeah, you know, if it's tight, you know, it makes it a little tougher. If it's a, if it's a small window, but I can't tell how big a window it is. Right. Maybe I can from here. Nope. You can see how much it passes. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, this don't look too bad. I wonder what Chase and him is doing. I don't know. I'm assuming one pocket with it uh, being uh, Mikey's son. No. Not Wait. playing one pocket? On the big table? Mm -hmm. No, they're playing nine ball. Oh. song in a while ago and it's one of them songs that sticks in your head <laughs> well don't sing it too much because you know we'll get kicked off and because your voice is pretty much perfect to the tune that's right oh they'll say oh my god that's probably the original yep Gotta cut that off all right so uh got a little bit of a cut here so we use a touch of inside and bounce back down the table towards the six ball Straight in's okay, or an angle's okay, either one. Ooh. Touch of inside. A touch, yeah, just a touch. <laughs> God, he, he put a lot on it, didn't he? I'm telling you, sometimes that body karate is actually powerful. It's, I like the touch because I like uh, going closer to the six ball. That way your draw is a little more consistent. Right. <clears throat> He's actually got an angle to come after the seven in the opposite corner, which... He does, but I think he'll, well, I don't know. With that eight ball there, yeah. well, I don't think it goes, does it? We're going to find out right after he shoots a six. No. Well. I would say not. Oh, I can tell you it don't. I can see it. Look through here. It absolutely don't go. Not even close. No. All right. So, looks like he might try to break it out with this shot here. Somebody said something. I'm excited. Oh, it's just Redis. Redis got me excited for nothing. I thought we had a new watcher interaction with some stream with us talking. Some interesting person, you know. Yeah, somebody of importance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Redis takes a joke well. Good shot there. That was a good shot. Redis, did you make it to California or Washington, wherever you were going? Probably San Francisco. If you know what I mean. He said, ha ha. He's in Nashville now. <laughs> you come all the way to see us, Rita's? No choppinator come to see us. Come and talk on the stream right after the last match is over. That's right. Put you on there, let us know what happened. Uh, 
Good shot. I'll tell you what. It's a little stroke yet on that thing. They went lying about this guy being pretty tough as a four. Seems a little reckless, but you know what? He gets out. I mean, you know, the, the stroke, he just put on that ball. And Man, somebody's got to get in here and talk now. Help us uh, override Chop. You can't have him take over the commentary or the stream because he will. We need some people talking. Terry McClure, where do you disappear to? <sighs> so 2-1 in this 4-5 uh, race, so it's a 2-4 uh, to four race. Mm -hmm. Dakota has his hands really full. Yeah, this is, uh, what, the loser side? So one of these guys? Yes, one's going home. Or is this the hot seat? No. No, that already happened. Yeah, okay. we already did that. That was uh, yeah. Myron. Terry McClure. Terry, you a Cowboys guy? <laughs> you said trucker alert. <laughs> Thank you, Alan Lance, for the follow. Yeah, I, d I don't know, um, Mitch. Um, of course, uh, Dakota's not in my area, but he plays in some of my events back home. So uh, I got a group for locality. I don't have a dog in this. But yes, sir, 55 years. You know, I was a Cowboys fan all of my young life. I'm 49 years old. And I was a Dallas or a Cowboys fan up until I was 21 years old uh, when the Rams moved from L.A. to St. Louis in '95. Now I became a Dallas Cowboys fan, probably like everybody else did, because they're cheerleaders and they had a star on their helmet. And Wait, they have cheerleaders? <laughs> but I kind of learned as I really understood football later in life uh, that I was probably a Troy Aikman fan. Uh, more than I was actually a Cowboys fan. And his reign ended around 95, 96 there. So um, it was easy switch for me to the Rams, them coming over to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a bad break, but didn't really get a good look at the one now. Rita said the stream keeps freezing. I assure you it's not on our end. I assure it's probably not. If our, <laughs> if our stream ain't freezing, it can't be freezing on, because of us. No, I don't know. I just don't know if it's our internet. It could be, technically. But wouldn't ours be chopping? This is a direct shot, not a stream shot. If we was commentating on the stream, then our commentating would be lagging. But I am guessing it's probably chop. See, Tim says stream's fine. Chop, it's you. Yeah, 92, 3, 5. They, uh, of course, the Bills were in two or three Super Bowls with them. Shit, I was kind of rooting for the Bills in one of them. I remember, I'm like, man, you guys deserve it. We'll just, uh... They're bigger than you, maybe, Chop. Just, just let that one go. <laughs> Stream's working perfect. See, Chop, it's you. Yeah. That's Chop. true. It's hard for the uh, cell phone signal to keep up whenever he's driving 75 and an 18-wheeler. I'm glad Mickey never drove a semi. <laughs> These guys all talk about my driving all the time. I told me nobody did. Yeah, it was a little scary on the way here. A couple people tried to slam their brakes in front of me. Yeah. pushing out here. Oh, I was going to say, what's he kicking at? <laughs> I was curious, too. <laughs> yeah, he's just pushing out, and uh, imagine that will probably give him back to him. You got your headset on. Yeah, we do, too. Does your headset have a video? 
Isn't it against the law to wear headsets going down the road? Headphones? No, it's not headphones. It's it's for, his it's for his phone, yeah. Yeah. So he can talk, which is probably the most legal way. Yeah. Auto texting. Yeah, but that means you're watching the stream, child. Are you watching the stream? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's kicking at this one ball. Try to hit the uh, left or top side of it. Eh, it wasn't too terrible. Oh, good shot. I was thinking it was going to land over by the two and the three, but he hit pretty solid there. Okay, Chop, we're going to repeat. Hands free. Are you eyes free also? Can your hands see the video? <laughs> We better leave Chop alone. He's uh, never going to guess the right answer. So, Nope. Don't want to incriminate himself. Nope, maybe he did. Dwayne, what are you talking about? Yes, I am. I don't know. All right. He's trying to kick too low here, it looks like. Yeah. He top said no. So did he get a hit here? No, no. He kicked before the side pocket and hit the nine. Yeah, I need to kick quite a bit further up. I mean, you know, what the people understand when uh, Mitch kicked that one ball, what happened, that's what he was trying to do. Oh yeah. They don't. Well, yeah, he didn't just get lucky behind that six ball. Um, yeah, he was trying to leave that cue ball behind there. No, I, yeah, I love that kick because I thought he'd hit a little thinner and come over behind the two. But hey, when he almost stopped it behind the six, that's that's perfect. Oh, Dwayne said he's doing hand free driving. Oh, uh, gotcha. Who them boys playing today, Terry? Tell me the Niners, I'll be happy. Which I know they ain't. Some of those shots you don't like. Patriots, yeah, them guys are horrible. Are they? Patriots this year, absolutely. Yeah, Chop, believe it or not, most of us have that same phone capability. <laughs> oh, Chop's funny, ain't he? Yeah. I'm not sure he's even trying to be. Yeah, I can't deny that they're good, but, you know, as a Rams fan, I'm not allowed to really say that in open no. public. Absolutely not. Uh oh. We have to. It's it's in our DNA to hate the 49ers. Yeah. Mitch just did a high kick after that one. <laughs> Man, Dwayne, your phone does the same thing that Chops does. Stop it, guys. There's two of them out there, Pat. There's no way. It's one of a kind from Walmart. That's right. <laughs> Chop is definitely a he's a riot. Can't play no pool for the lick, but but he'll play twenty twenty dollars sets with anybody all day. I'll give him that. He'll probably even pay you. <laughs> yeah, if you, when you beat him, he'll pay you. All right, Dakota's about to go two two. He needs this big win for him. Man, Chop, you're talking about penises an awful lot. Ooh, that was a little uh, shaky there. That ball kind of wiped its feet. And yeah, and then the cue ball kind of looked like it rolled upward. It did look like it kind of danced there at the end, didn't it? Yeah. I seen that, too. I thought maybe it was just my eyes. Probably was. Well, that's yours, too, unless you're looking with my eyes. Well, that's kind of what I meant. 
No matter what happened, we had to look at it. That's right. Would you just look at it? <laughs> That's a good shot. Yep. Cody got that little stroke in him, too. Of course, that wasn't the same stroke at this uh, Mitch side a little while ago. All right, two to two. Dakota's not going peacefully into the night. Or is it quietly? Quietly into the night? Yes, it is, but that's we, all right. We would not go quietly or we would not hey, go peacefully. They're being quiet. We're hoping they're being peaceful. I got to find out which one it is now. It's quietly. We would not go quietly is it into quietly? the night. It is. I know because peacefully kind of sounds funny. We will not go peacefully into the night. Yeah, it's quietly. Okay. Here we go, Dakota. I can be biased because it's not for any real reason. Would you just look at it? Yeah, I keep dodging, no chop. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mitch is a four. <laughs> I don't know Mitch. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely a pretty tough four. Yep. Now, these aren't like APA ratings, though. I mean. Yeah, not an APA four. Earl Strickland, what you talking about? Is Earl watching? Must be. He's taking a break from practicing for the Moscone to watch us. We can't see who joins the stream on this new, which I hate that. But He's a high six or seven here in Ohio. Uh, you mean six or seven in a split bracket format, Aaron? Or just in your like local league rating? We don't know what a seven means. Is that an in-house rating? It's Michael's like the clothing store? No, Michael's is a pool room in Akron. Akron, okay. I think it's Akron. Yeah, but that could be for just a local tournament. It's a whole different rating, I mean. Right, yeah, so it's hard to compare. I don't I don't know Mitch. I'm not defending his rating. Uh, I just know that the, uh, just because he's a, whatever, what is he, a four and a seven somewhere else or a six, you know, who knows what those ratings are gone by. All right. We could double the game race and make this last five days if we wanted, but that's not what we're here for. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't. I don't know who Luke Hawkins is. We're from southern Indiana. Let's see. You say he plays even with Luke Hawkins? I didn't find even a Fargo for Luke Hawkins. I'm guessing he probably, Mitch, is probably established or, you know, at least has some games underneath him because 540 is where the four is over. Oh, he said Luke Hawkins. Is that from Dayton, Ohio? Is that the Lucas? That makes sense. What's he? A 699 with 800 games. I doubt they can run together. Yeah, um, I can assure you this. This guy does not play a 699 speed. So one of them's off for sure. I mean, I've been working with Fargo for about seven and a half, eight years um, from players all over the nation. Uh, this guy is definitely not a 699 speed.
Yeah, I did find Lucas Hawkins. He's a 6.99, and I had a friend that told me Lucas Lucas uh, Hawkins is a is a monster. Uh, at a 6.99, you are a monster. You're a great player. Um, I mean, I know. Where, I mean, I'm a 6.40 with over 7,000 games. I know where my game's at, um, and I play people from all over the nation in Vegas, and um, you know, 6.99 is, is quite a bit better than me. But with that being said, this guy here is not better than me. I mean, he plays good, and he may not be a four. He may be a five. I don't know. I don't. I don't set those ratings. We're just here doing the commentary. Um, yeah, some people just, I guess, don't understand the rating isn't necessarily saying, oh, we think he's a a four in whatever league or whatever tournament that's privately done. It's. It's what games they go to here, and, and here that he's on the lower side. Right. You know, but first off, this is not our split bracket. We on on cue broadcasting. We were hired by the people that's putting this split bracket on to do commentary and do a live stream. Um, we have nothing to do with ratings. We have nothing to do with really running the tournament. Uh, we did do perform the uh, players' uh, auction for them. But other than that, we have nothing else to do with this split bracket event. We're just a hired company. <laughs> Good old Terry. Yep. I will say that the this uh, looks like that uh, we just had a uh, Dakota won another game. I will say that the split brackets that we watched, uh, you know, around the area, I say around the area that's two, three, four hundred miles away. Um, I absolutely see some crazy, crazy ratings. Um, I'll say that these ratings here are closer than any I've seen in these split bracket events. Uh, I mean, she kicked somebody out from West Virginia. Uh, that was, uh, that snuck in off rating. Uh, Scotty, I don't, we don't have the payouts. We can try um, to give an estimate. I think I might have seen them. Uh, hold on a second, Scotty. Oh, scratched on the break. I thought it was uh, 1500 maybe. No. Fifth six is thirteen twenty five. Fourth is forty eight hundred. Third is eight thousand. Second is twelve four fifty. First is twenty thousand. Dakota scratched in the side. On break. Yep, got kicked over. So, the. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to shoot the two ball over in this corner, bottom right, to us. Take a long three to get on the four ball. Yes, sir. Aaron, we wasn't saying that the ratings in Ohio are wrong. We're just saying they're different.
All right, duty called. Questions? What we got here? Uh, Mitch went to go take a break, I believe. So Dakota ran to the restroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, you know, uh, for me, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't play in split bracket tournaments. You know, Aaron said they're hilarious. Um, everybody's got their own opinion. Um, I mean, my opinion is probably not far off from Aaron's. Um, but we're not here to play in a tournament. We're not here to run a tournament. We are here to provide a stream and provide commentary with that stream. And help watch hits. <laughs> and help watch hits. <laughs> and I mean, there has been things we've been asked to do, and uh, we we run lots and lots and lots of tournaments in Indiana. We run a BCA pool league with over 100 pool teams in three states. Um, we've been in the pool scene for a while. Uh, so we kind of know... Uh, not saying we're right about everything, but we do understand what goes on in the pool world. Uh, we travel a lot. We go to Vegas uh, for many, many, many days every year. We send 20 teams to Vegas this last year. Uh, hopefully we get to send as many this year. Uh, we are, we're just saying we are in the know of pool. And Rita's May. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Terry McClure, you're absolutely right. First place, if you have yourself in this event, for a two-day event, or a day and a half, rather, you get about $27,000. Yep. Um, a lot of pool happened over the last two days. So, as hilarious as it is, or as much as anyone thinks a split bracket is stupid, you can't argue that the money is stupid money as well. Stupid amount of money. Stupid amount of money, that's right. I mean, most pro events ain't paying that. No, and honestly, this is actually pretty fun to watch, and it wasn't, I haven't seen any lopsided matches, not too many. No, we haven't even seen anything crazy. You know, like this guy here, this Mitch, okay, maybe he's a five. Um, but he's a four, and we know where De how Dakota plays. I know Dakota very well. Um, you know, Dakota's up on him three to two right now. Um, you know, there was a guy yesterday that finagled his way in, blah, blah. He was off rated by three or four ranks, and uh, he got DQ'd. Yeah, enough of that happens, and uh, people stop doing it, I believe. That's right. You know, when, when you drive six hours and you pay 100 bucks to get in the tournament, and you've got a room, and, you, and you've and spent five, 600 or more in a Calcutta, et cetera, et cetera, you know, you're out 1000 bucks with a risk to, to get DQ'd, I don't know that you'll continue to do it. And I don't see anybody in the other events taking those measures. So I will say, this particular event event is taking measures to try to prevent that. Yeah, with uh, this kind of money, those people, they come sometimes. Mm -hmm. They try to sneak in, which is fine, because they get caught too. Yeah, I mean, for Pete's sake, I mean, you know, with you look at BCA and APA, which, you know, I'm a big advocate of BCA and Fargo. Uh, but, you know, people were trying to manipulate that for a trip to Vegas to win a couple thousand dollars. So uh, they'll definitely try to manipulate something to win $20,000. Everyone got quiet. Even Rita's, which I'm not asking him to come back, but hi, Rita's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't look. We're back. I didn't even notice uh, we're back. We're breaking. I was looking down. I think he just came picked up a stick, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah, because he has ball in hand. Yeah. Oh. So what do you do, Pat, uh, here? Do you just shoot the two over in the corner by the four and roll up and take the long three for position on the – you can get position on the four from down there. I don't. I shoot the two six. That way I have a good angle on the two to come out for the three. Well, the problem is the two six is they're offset 
I mean, you know the two's going to come up table just a little bit from there, so you can set the cue ball to adjust for that. I don't set it there, though. <laughs> I set it to go down to the bottom rail and up the cue ball. Um, like cut it backwards. Backwards. Well, he, well he's, he's trying doing. to line up where it's a straight shot, where you're not cutting the two. Oh, I don't like that. Because yeah. that makes the combo harder if you don't. Because you got to cut the two. A little bit, but... I don't think it's a hard combo. That's the reason I would shoot. It's the not way. that tough, no. Even for me, I I, I don't hate that combo. You know where I where I'm at on combination. Yeah, but now he's got to depend on it coming out, and he got lucky. He, yeah, he got a little rub there. He got a rub. He was going to the side rail. Yeah, I would have actually came, you know, the other way basically. Set up angle to go to the bottom rail now. See, I would just shot it right over the corner by the four, and you see where the three balls at. You can make that from middle of the table. Yeah, he actually. That's, what, that's the direction you're going. A little rub, though, helped him. He didn't accidentally make it in the side. So, right. I mean, that's means he came out looking like a rose or smelling like a rose. Sometimes a voice just kind of goes through. And then someone doesn't necessarily mean they're talking super loud because certain noises come through on these real high. Yeah, see, now he's got a, a rougher angle. This is a little tougher. I would much rather be that a cue ball be up table towards the four about a foot is where it would have been if you go the other way. Yeah, I don't really like this angle either. It's too straight and he's coming the wrong way if he follows. I mean, he was a sixteenth of an inch right. from being in trouble. He just knows his game, that's all. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he made a good shot. He did. I just I feel like, you know, the three ball was the ideal ball to get position to the four. And you got ball in hand to shoot the two, to put the cue ball where you want to go to three. Mm -hmm. Versus shoot the combo and take where the two ball goes and where the cue ball goes. You're going to have to coach him after this. I just like originally you get to put it where you want This woman looks so much like Smitty Lancaster, Misty's wife. The one down here? Laura. Yeah. She's been working with us a lot. Yeah, she's wanting you to buy a sweatshirt or something. What? Yeah, I told her I don't wear sweatshirts. No comment. <laughs> I know you wear sweatshirts. I wear sweatshirts for sure. But I'm not going to want to wear some Jersey Girl. Oh, is that what it says on there? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know. All of a sudden, you don't wear sweatshirts either. That's right. Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't like the fours. He... If the eight ball was there, he wouldn't think twice about the four. Yeah. Um, but you can't do it anyway. You just shoot the four ball, come right down towards the eight for the seven on the side. As long as you don't go to the outside of the eight, you're mm -hmm. okay. I'm not sure where it went. Oh. I think there's a bridge underneath the table, so I don't think he's getting a bridge. He's getting something out of his case. We just can't see him because that TV oh. is blocking. Maybe just an extension. Could be. Is he left-handed? No. Well. If he's left right-handed, he does not need an extension for this shot. I think uh, a T-Rex could reach this one. Left hand. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Well. Saying it's a right handed person's got no problem. But he's shooting with his right. What is that? That's a little confusing. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Was can't shoot with the bridge, okay. That's about like I would shoot with one. Yeah. I mean and I mean if you look at that shot, 
I know that's just one shot, but we had a guy that said this guy plays close to this, or runs even with this 599, 699 player. Right. You know, that's not the stroke of a guy that runs with a 699 player. I don't think the guy quite plays your speed. And that's not a diss, because you're a good player. I'm saying it's good, because I'm higher Fargo. But you're, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're a 575, 580 player. And uh, I think I think you play a little low than your number, because I just think your games took a, a heavy turn to the good in this past year, year and a half, and your Fargo just hasn't caught up with it yet. Um, but yeah, this guy don't. You know, he ain't. I don't think he's going to be a player like you, a player like Elrod, a player like Darren Neal, Chad Wade, Trey Woodall. Maybe Trey Woodall. Trey's got days, though. I know. Yeah, this guy and Trey would probably be pretty close, really. Trey's biggest problem, he don't really play enough serious pool. Well, definitely he's, not in the summer. No, because play, Trey plays good uh, when he's playing more, especially. Yeah, he plays more in the winter. Speaking of playing more, I did pick up a Sunday. I seen that. So I could go to state. Ooh. Did you whose team did you get on? Uh Bruce's team. Oh Bruce Pate? Yeah. All right. Dakota on the hill first. Dakota's on the hill. I mean, he was down two to one. What is this position, just Pat? Um, I believe this is still like fifth six. This is fifth six, so uh, I believe so. So twelve. Well, it might be third full. No, it's yeah. So it's fifth six, and then so the loser is six, which is twelve. Yeah, I believe. You can go ahead and look it up, though. Yeah. This is fourth. Is it? Okay. So this is seventh eighth. Alrighty. But it is on the B side, so yeah. So mm -hmm. the whoever loses this gets eighth place, yep. which is. And the next one's fifth six. So. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we're getting there, aren't we? Yep. Might be midnight before we get home, but that's all right. It could be, but, you know, we, we expected that. So, can you, is there, can you see that, Patrick? The, eh, I think so. I don't think the look's going to help you. You any. can see the outside of it, maybe. Oof, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he can definitely see it. He's coming at it. Let's give him the outside. Yeah. Ooh, hit it pretty full. Oh. Oh, 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 oh wow. into, into drink. Wow. It's just an unfortunate thing of events there. Like, So if you're a 540 player, do you shoot to 1-9 or do you run out? I mean, I run out this one. And there's not a problem on the table. I don't like the 1-9. Nine, nine. I feel like 500s, 450s play the combo. Yeah. I think I would probably run out this. But, I don't know. I've shot worse combos than this, though. And he could actually play the 9 and safe. Not from that angle. Well, I guess he could. If I set it on the rail and then shot it where Correct. it Correct. Right, yeah. But, you know, then you're, you're just making the shot tougher. When people do that, if you're going to commit to the shot, commit to the shot in this case. Yeah. If you're setting yourself a cut, now it's tougher. I mean, obviously he made it, but that doesn't mean it was right or wrong. Uh, we are on the hill. Hill, hill now. Yep. I think it's more of a preference. I mean, if he likes combos, then go for it. I mean, there's a reason that the pros hardly ever shoot a combo unless they have just screaming at them. Right. It was just a wired shot, you know, but they, uh, 
they look for the run out where there's nothing touching. I wouldn't have shot that combo in a million years. No chance, no how. If I would play that combo. Of course, I think the run out was pretty simple. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. Wasn't bad run out either. I mean, he had ball in hand on the first ball, so there's a ball in the hoe. Um, the two was in front of the hoe. The three was in front of the hoe. The nine was in front of the hoe. Uh, the four ball was out in the middle. There, there was another ball by the two. I think it was the six or seven that was in front of the hoe. Jeannie. Jeannie's got him. Okay, here we go. Hill, Hill, who's out there? What do you like? Who do you like? Where is Mitch from? Does anybody know? He is from Dayton, Ohio. So I figured that uh, maybe Ohio, since the guy I was on here a little bit ago kind of knew him, so. Or knew of him anyway. Oh man, good break again, but I don't know if he can see the one. Jeremy Blake says uh, he's rooting for Dakota. I know where Jason's loyalty stands. What else we got? So he made a ball, no shot. Push out is tough. You know, in this position, um, anywhere you push creates an easy safety. Right. Yeah, unless you like jumping, then... Uh, with the exception of pushing to a jump, correct. Yeah, because right now with the six there, it makes it a little more difficult to jump. I mean, with that six, three, two, eight, and then the seven and nine over there, I mean, you've got two different walls of balls uh, to get, get one of the balls behind. Yeah. Either the cue ball or the one ball. I would probably push and tie up the eight and two. That's not a bad option. Because you got to create some work for him. what he did so now even if Dakota plays a safe oh, if you give up ball in hand you're not giving up a sellout not necessarily I mean there's some work wow that was risky it absolutely was, and I don't think it's a big payoff, is it? Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if the two. I don't know. Two to three is gonna be tough. Anybody can make it. I mean, the three ball's fine, um, but if this two ball, if it goes, it's fine. Cause you go straight to the rail and back over for the three, and then the four ball's right there in the same line. Now, if he's got to shoot at this inside. That's totally different. Nope. Went all day. No doubt, I guess. Yeah, I think Dakota's out. Hill Hill makes a difference sometimes, so it we'll see. It absolutely does. We'll see what happens. I mean, I, I hope he's out, but it's only because he's literally the only one of the two that I know. Right. <laughs> Okay, he'll shoot this two, four ball and go around just two rails towards the uh, cue ball will be 
tracking towards the seven ball. Just don't want to hit it very hard. It's more like a super soft. Ooh, a little more than that would have been all right. Yep, he's tracking the right direction, but uh, that definitely changes things. <clears throat> yeah, I think he uh, didn't use as much spin as he thought. Yeah, or speed. I think he was afraid he was going to go too far. But, you know, he had about three foot there to play with. Right. He's going into the nine here. I mean, I, it, you may be able to scratch between that nine and seven. I can't tell for sure, but. He hit the top of that nine, it could be trouble. And he hit the top of the nine, but he missed the six anyway. Oh boy. That he's might be it. He's kicking himself for that one. Yeah. Pretty routine out. I mean, six to seven is really the hardest shot. Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't tell if he'll go one or two. I'm going two. He went one. And that's the problem with the one. He's easy to go too far. So things are different. He's got the angle on this. It's not great to the eight. No. No, that's not the angle he wanted because he's either got to like, really, really hold it or just go two and take the harder eight ball cut. He might be able to go under the eight and miss it right through there. Wow, that's a good shot. Of course, a draw back here is just pretty routine. Oh, look at this. It's the nerves. Yeah, he just shot that. He had plenty to draw that. He just slid it over. He's got more people talking to him than we did at our uh, event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it was accidental, you know. He uh What do you do, Pat? You bank it or cut it? Bank it. On these tables? Yeah, I bank it and if it comes short, good. If not, then Hopefully he made it, because <laughs> I I think I have to bank it on these tables, on all tables, really. I can't. I don't like cutting it and just leaving it there if I miss. Yeah. There's some sort of truth to that, but I don't think the shot's quite as hard as it looks on these tables. The worst part would be the scratch. Does that give us anything different? I don't think so. I say I thought he'd well, be in the yeah, way. Well, yeah, bad. See, that's not that bad. That's... It's pretty thin cut. I mean, yeah, it's thin. Um, I'm going to say, what do you think? 70 degrees? 80? Not yeah. quite 75? I would say, I don't know, 75, 80. It's, it's pretty steep. Boy, I mean, one ball rotation, it's 90 degree cut. I mean, think about some shots you back cut. No, I know. This is just by the rail, so it makes it seem tougher to you. Yeah, but for the nine ball, I think I bank it. He's definitely looking at the cut, but see if he stays in that road. I don't like the right. I like the left. Take that side pocket out of the way. He banked it. And hit it with eyes. Yep, that was a good shot. That was a good shot for the win, that's for sure. That was a good match. Yeah, it was. We had a lot of people watching, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it was a good match. Yeah. So we